Hello. This is Frederick here, and I'm with a friend, and we're about to do Gambit. Yup. This is Ruin. anything. In in My Hello, the internet. It is I, Ruin. Uh, what do you want to talk about, Frederick? Um. So basically, all that I know is the Drifter is probably doing something with the nine. And that, well, um, in one of the parts, there's this, um, huge, like, square upside down with, like, one circle, and then apparently, every week, um, it gets stronger, so one is, like, probably the easiest, and, um, the third one would probably be the hardest. Are you talking about the um, the Gambit Prime mode yeah. that they've talked about? And how there's going to be different levels of it? That might be like you can go farther into Gambit Prime, whatever that means. Like if you remember back to the Halloween events, um, the Haunted Forest. Like maybe mm -hmm. it's uh, the deeper in you go, the better your rewards are. Because it said something yeah. about risking your rewards that you got from a normal match of Gambit. Um, or it could just be maps. For that, uh, we really don't know what that means yeah. quite yet. Yeah, or maybe it's like you um you can sacrifice the loot and try to get better loot, and if you lose that, it'll take it won't it'll just give you the normal. See, if it was, I think it's probably more likely that it's a gambling kind of mechanic. And so, like, whatever you would have gotten from playing through a normal match of Gambit, you can kind of put that down as your bet that you're going to beat Gambit Prime. And then you go into a match of Gambit Prime, and if you die really quickly, then you lose whatever you just got. Um, but if you get do well, then you will probably either... Um, you'll probably just get exclusive Gambit Prime loot on top of Gambit loot. That's kind of what it made it sound like to me. Then apparently Reckoning is another one. Apparently it's about all chaos and um, basically you're having to um, go fast and there's a timer going down. So what I have on is a dreaded right, right, um, right. venture, a trust and an anarchy. Cabal on the field. Um. I've just got on a pretty standard build. I have Nezarek, Sin, and gosh, what's the Kindled Orchid? That combos together really well. Yeah. Threat level uh, for boss DPS and getting rid of majors, and Sleeper Simulant for trying to shoot invaders down. Okay. I have my sniper boy. Um, I have a Celestial Nighthawk for um, DPS. Oh uh, yeah, nice. That's pretty good DPS. Hard to beat. Slash fifth bottom treat. So basically, Gambit is a um, game where you collect modes and um, bank them, and if you die, you um, lose them, of course. Which is a pretty nice um, game type. So it's basically um, the modes are money, and money is the mode. Then... Yeah, I guess you could think of it that way. Um, in the lore, the modes are a bit different. Um, there's in the lore makes it so the drifter calls them modes of light, um, but in the lore, it's kind of implied that they're actually modes of darkness, not modes of light. I've also uh, seen some stuff about how, like in D1, we had motes of light, but they were shaped like a circle, like the traveler shaped. But these motes are shaped like triangles, like the triangle ships and the ending cosmetic or cinematic. Um, so uh, yeah, the the, um, these are probably motes of dark that we're banking, not motes of light. Okay. And there's also in some of the lore books, uh, the drifter can do some interesting, scary things with motes. Yeah, like, um, create these demons. Take yeah, you can down. summon prime mules with them. Um, another thing what I'm going to talk about is 
the uh, triangles at the end of the cutscene. That looked really interesting, team. Um, yeah, no, I think a lot of people are still kind of excited for that. They've definitely been implying that that's something, because we've seen hive ships, and it doesn't look like hive ships, and we've seen um, ships from basically all of the factions that are currently in the game, and the triangle ships don't match those. So, probably in Destiny 3, or maybe Year 3 Destiny 2, like the Forsaken expansion that Year, if year 3 gets, if Year 3 even gets its own... Um, stuff like a, a big expansion like that but if it does we might get it then or we might get to figure out what's going on with this um in destiny 3. yeah hmm. so another thing another question i have is where does the drifter get all these enemies from um, the lore talks about that a little bit. Uh, it's sort of discussed that um, he's mixed together technology from a bunch of different people's stuff. Like there's hive tech and there's uh, vex tech and stuff mixed together. And somehow he has carved out a little chunk of the Ascendant Realm. And that's where he's keeping all of the fallen guys. And so he's kind of captured a fallen army, and he's keeping them there. I'm assuming that the other guys, like the Cabal that we're fighting right now, they're just, um... Because the, it talks about um, scouting for locations to hold Gambit. So I'm guessing that they've kind of just found a place where there's some Cabal troops, and we go to fight those Cabal troops where they're at in the field. I don't know if they've actually been captured the same way um, the Fallen or the Taken have. Okay. So, okay. Invaders off the field. Guardian down. So another interesting thing is uh, the guy who, um, killed the man and spread the ashes all over the rock now that yes the man with the gold gun yeah so he said i think while in um spoiler alert spoiler alert in ace in the hole the inbound at the beach portal's ready grab your gun almost time for a prime evil so, that is basically, but probably going to meet him in, um, C um, in one of the DLCs, cause, um, um, well, we already have the last word, which is his signature hand cannon. So, yeah. I would have thought that they would have saved giving us the last word for when we did meet Shin Malfur. Um, but it's possible that we do still meet him, um, but it kind of seems like he kind of might be bowing out of the story. Um, there's, there's a lot that's kind of in the air. There's, in some of the lore books for, for doing that quest, um, Shin Malfur himself actually writes some letters to you. And for a really long time, Shin Malfur has sort of taken it upon himself to hunt down and kill any guardians that strayed too far along like the wrong path like that were became dredgens or started killing other guardians and using weapons of sorrow and hive magic and like there's a lot of just nasty things that guardians could get into and the guardians that went bad for sure saying Malfir was just taking upon himself to kill them and now He's met us, and canonically speaking, our character has used Weapons of Sorrow. Um, back in Destiny 1, we collected the Thorn, and we collected the Touch of Malice, and um, in this game, we made Malfeasance with the Drifter. Like, we're clearly, like, as far as the Drift, yeah, as part of as Shin Malfir is concerned, we're kind of scary. But at the same time, we've also done a lot of good stuff, too. So he's kind of decided that we might be okay and maybe he's just going to watch us for a while and in case that, we do go bad 
Yeah, cause you can do some horrible stuff with the um, last wood, like um, shoot someone in the head and or break the ghost and. I think you're probably thinking. I mean, like yes, you could. I think you can break a ghost with any weapon. Um, but like what the last word is known for is not like killing guardians or silencing the li their light or anything like that. What the last word is known for is for gunning down Dredge and Yor. But I think you might be thinking of Thorn. Thorn is the hand cannon that um it's can canonically like when you kill a guardian with Thorn, um they can't be revived by their ghost. Mhm. Mm so I think you got those two confused. Last word is basically talking about, um, like, the main crest is, um, basically saying, uh, um, that, taking over to the other side. You're a horrible. Yeah. Portal's ready. Grab your gun. Um, it's basically side. saying that, um, Thorn, or, um, last words, like, they've taken it and, like, all that stuff. Sorry, there was, a uh, invader that I was trying to get away from. Can you say some of that again, Rick? Basically, um, when last word, um, came, or, um, what came out, it was, like, um, basically saying that, um, um, the Taken has, like, taken it, and they wanted it, because, of course, it's a, um, isn't it, like, a weapon of sorrow? No, the last word's not. You're confusing last word and thorn again, which isn't super helpful because of how last word was introduced. Like, it made the quest, if you weren't paying attention, kind of made it seem like the last word was a weapon of sorrow. Because the whole quest line was about weapons of sorrow and the dredgens and dredgen yore. Then, at the end of it, you get the last word, which is the gun that Shen Malfur, the enemy of the dredgens, used. So, no, the last word's not a weapon of sorrow. Um, the weapon that Dredge and Yor used is called the Thorn. And there have been some other weapons of sorrow, um, but the last word isn't anything like that. In the quest, um, we were actually hunting down um, some of the hive that were associated with making uh, Ray's Lazir, who, uh, who became Shin, who became Dredge and Yor, go bad in the first place. So, like, there was definitely some scary stuff going on in the quest, but that doesn't really have that much to do with the last word. Okay. And... So, um, another thing is... What if you... Um, another spoiler. When you're, um, going to Anna's... Or, um, Aid's, um like place you are going to see um if you immediately um like take a um i forgot but there's another place in um the area and it's basically saying that there's going to be a new part of the annex open and it's going to be for um the drifter yeah, I think the drifters, like, right now the drifters just kind of chilling in, like, this little... It's basically like a closet in the annex that's not, like, an official large place. Um, and so he's, yeah, he's gonna get his own. He's gonna get his own place, for sure. Yeah. Cause, yeah, that was close. Okay, yeah. I, um... <sighs> Alright, Redrick. So that's the end yeah, of the video. Have a good one. Bye-bye. That's the end of the video. So, um... See you guys later and bye.